Prepare to penetrate the enemy stronghold. I want to talk to you about this movie, Cloak and Dagger, from 1984. This movie is really important to me, it's special to me, because I watched it as a kid, and it's always stuck with me my whole life. There's a couple of scenes from it that I'll get into talking about that just stuck with me my whole life. I think it's a really neat, wonderful old movie. I didn't realize until watching it again for this review that the whole thing is filmed in San Antonio, Texas, which is the city where I currently live. And so all of the scenes in this movie were filmed right in my neighborhood, like right down the street from where I live. Downtown San Antonio, the Alamo, the Tower of the Americas, the Riverwalk, the Tower of Life, the Japanese Garden, they're all within blocks of my house. And right next to the Alamo and the Tower of the Americas is the river walk. And that's where you'll often see me fishing in a lot of my fishing videos. So go check those out on my channel if you're interested in seeing more of the river walk. This is why you come to the river walk. So non-stop fishing action like this. Let's get him back real quick. The boy in the movie, the main character, Davey, you might recognize him as the boy from the E.T. movies. His name is Henry Thomas, the actor. And he's actually from San Antonio. And he's a pretty good actor for a kid, too. Well, he witnesses the murder of an FBI agent and gets tasked with protecting a secret Atari game cartridge, which apparently contains some sensitive intel. His dad was a real... Air Force war hero who happens to look exactly like his imaginary hero friend Jack Flack. His mother apparently died an early death and the father is having a little trouble raising the boy on his own. And there's one great scene where the father is explaining to Davy, look Davy, heroes don't just shoot bad guys. They put supper on the table. They fix bicycles, and they do boring things. So this is a really deep piece of philosophy right there. It's almost like oftentimes we don't appreciate the heroes in our everyday life, like our parents. The guy who plays the father and the imaginary hero character, Jack Flack, he's a great actor. His name is Dabney Coleman. He's also a Texas guy, so this movie is all about Texas. I love it. Because, you know, I live in Texas. I live in San Antonio, so this movie is right in my backyard, you know? Here we are at another one of the famous locations from the film. The Japanese sunken tea gardens of San Antonio. Right in my backyard. Isn't that cool, guys? The whole movie is packed with nostalgia for me, right down to the 1982 red Ford Mustang. The same car my father had when he met my mother in San Antonio, Texas. So this movie has like a special connection for me. Also, the boy Davy sees his father and Commander Flack as hero figures. I too have family roots here in San Antonio in the Air Force. If you've seen my channel before, you'd know that my Grandpa Frank is my hero. He was a lieutenant colonel in the Air Force and a test pilot for top secret jet aircraft. So I can really identify with this boy Davy, and it's almost like fate that I review this movie. And it's also got a video game connection for you video game players out there. This movie is loosely based on an actual Atari arcade game called Cloak and Dagger or Agent X. I saw it had a limited release on arcade, so I'm guessing today it would be pretty rare to find. But you good soldiers, let me know in the comments if any of you have ever played the game. It looks really good for an Atari game. One very important scene that is the scene that pretty much stuck with me my whole life out of this whole movie, and it's this scene where they're crossing the street the boy Davy and Commander Flack, 
They're crossing the street, heading into the Tower of Life building. And Commander Flack says, just keep moving. And he's kind of talking about the getting across the street and they're trying to like cross this busy street and there's a bunch of cars going. And I think it's kind of like a reference to the game Frogger. You know, that game Frogger, an old school retro game where you're kind of trying to get across the street as a frog. If you just keep going, keep forging ahead, you tend to make less mistakes than if you stop and hesitate. And I don't know if that's coming through clear to you guys, but it's also a philosophy for everyday real life. It's also part of the Hagakure Samurai philosophy. A samurai makes his decisions within the space of seven breaths. It's a great philosophy for everyday life about having courage and determination and willpower. It's only a little 30 seconds in the film, but it stuck with me for life. And I think perhaps it was this scene that sparked my interest in warrior and samurai philosophies, which is a huge part of my being as an adult. Just keep moving! So there's a big moral lesson to this film, and it's basically about growing up. Without spoiling too much, I'll just say that Davy, the boy, has to learn the harsh realities of life and war, and that war has grave costs. And in the end, he realizes that his father was right all along, and that his father was the real hero. In a sense, Davy graduates to adulthood, and he becomes more of a responsible man while gaining a new appreciation for his father, the real-life hero, at the cost of losing his best friend, the imaginary Commander Flack. Well, it was fun while it lasted, wasn't it, pal? So yeah, I would definitely recommend this movie if you guys are looking for a great old movie from the 80s. This movie has it all for me, so highly recommend it. Go give it a watch, guys. And until the next time, this is Mark, over and out.